What are you going to do if you find a real master with real abilities? Well, that's an interesting question, Friedman6519. And you know what? I'm going to spend a whole video trying to answer it as best as I can. But first, let's look at some magic. of you that are following you probably already know that this channel is in some sort of like a creative break and while I'm on this creative break I just want to drop some content to just to kind of still keep the channel alive and still kind of interact with you to show you that that I haven't left yet I'm still here I'm still working behind the scene to make this whole channel better and market this channel better and uh, but at the meantime I noticed that a lot of you like this jacket so I decided to wear it again and a lot of you seem to enjoy this kind of unscripted, almost unedited, except for like some weird exceptions type of content where I just kind of talk out of my ass, my heart, my heart, where I just talk out of my heart about topics that I'm passionate about. And I'm kind of a little bit ranting a lot of bit off the script. So anyway, I saw this question in, in the comment section recently, like what would you do if you meet a real master with real abilities? And uh, I've been asked this question many times and the answer has evolved throughout the years. So I wanna try to break it down today as, as best as I can. So here it goes. First of all, if you would have asked me this question, let's say five to six years ago, my answer would have been super simple. It would have just been like, oh, if I meet a real master, all I would do is just ask this person to teach me. Teach me. Now, if you would have asked me this question about like 10, no, actually 15, 15. <sighs> Guys, I'm old. <sighs> Anyway, if you would have asked me this question 15 to 20 years ago, my answer would have been like, what do you mean if I meet a real master with real abilities? I am under a real master with real abilities and he is already teaching me real abilities. What are you talking about? Yeah, because some of you might know, some of you might don't. I said this many times, I'm gonna repeat it again. I used to believe this stuff. I used to practice this stuff. I used to be in a martial arts school that used to teach like chi energy and whatnot. Like, let me open a small parenthesis. This muff, fuck, huh? <laughs> he made me do like a, a an exercise for a whole summer. He made me do this one exercise to collect chi energy or something. And which, by the way, I committed to it. I did, I did it. I did this exercise every day and I increased and I was like, I was collecting chi energy only for him to tell me at the end of the summer that, oh no, like he did some sort of weird chi test. And at the end of it, it turns out that I did the exercise wrong because I didn't collect the enough chi energy according to what he said, which is fantastic because what if there's no chi energy at all? Because it's not like he was providing any evidence of what he was talking about. He just told me that the reason why I don't have this superpower is because I did the exercise wrong, which again, it could be true. It could be, except that he never provided any evidence for chi whatsoever. And I once caught his grandmaster Basically, just basically doing a magic trick, pretending to have special abilities. So let's not go there. Anyway, you're probably wondering now, well, I'm asking you this question today, right now. So what is your answer? And why are you making a whole video about this? The answer should be simple, no? Every year, this answer got more and more complicated. So I'm gonna try, as I said, this video is not scripted. I'm just spitballing. So I'm gonna try to rationally and logically go through the reason why this answer is very complicated. And if and I'm making a video instead of writing a comment because I would have to write an essay and I hate writing essays on comments and I hate when people write essay on my comment section. So please, could you please stop doing that? Because I don't have time to read your theses 
about what telekinesis actually is, okay? If you have so much to say, make your own video and I'll watch that video and maybe respond. Let's break this down. So first of all, I don't know what your intentions are with this question, Freedman6590. Like you, maybe you are genuinely asking this question, maybe you're not. So it's, th this isn't about you. Okay. Like, I mean, you asked the question and you in basically started this whole video, but like, and I'm now responding to whoever else is asked to, to whoever asked this question. So this isn't directly a personal thing to you, but I need to say something. Uh, sometimes this question is a little bit loaded because there is this narrative that apparently because I'm a skeptic or because I'm your version of a skeptic, which is not, I don't want to say my version of the skeptic is not what a skeptic is. And I made a whole video about this and you can go watch that video because I'm not going to repeat it here. But anyway, there's this all narrative that if I meet the real deal, I won't be able to accept it and I will still deny it. Even, even, if, even if it's in front of my eyes, I will still deny it because it's too big of a deal. I would have to change the way I live my life and to change the way I see the word bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 All of that is bullshit. That's not how I work. Like magic isn't real. It's not my religion or my philosophy. It's just the name of this channel because I thought it was catchy. That's not how I spend my life. I spend my life according to what kind of information I receive. And then I react according to that information and decide what it is that I want to do. And this idea, this idea that suddenly, keep in mind, I lived my entire life from the moment I was born up until now without telekinesis, like with telekinesis being not real. If you now tell me that it's real, it's not going to collapse my word. Like I can keep on going forward in the direction where my life is going. Like it's not that big of a deal because I react according, you know, I, I, I just let me. Okay. One second. I should have read a script for this. I'm not prepared to do this without a script. All I'm saying is that at some point in my life, I was proven wrong on something that I believe. And yet my life continued. It didn't crash. It didn't. I simply accepted the new information and then kept on moving with my life. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. There could be, a, you know, there could be maybe a short period in which you're kind of are questioning things, but it's not like a life changing event. You know, even when I caught my grandmaster doing a magic trick, that didn't really destroy <laughs> the way, you know, the way I think of my life. I just simply went, oh, so that's bullshit. Well, thank you for wasting my time for so long. I'm gonna move forward. So long story short, let's put aside this idea that if I meet a real master, uh, you know, I'm such a skeptic and, and I'll be so afraid that I have to change the way I live my life that I will deny it because that's bullshit. Let's get to the other reason why this question is kind of difficult to answer at this point, because we also need to establish two things about this question. Things number one, what do you mean real abilities? As in like, what, what is your definition of real and all of them, like all of the abilities? Like everything, like we're talking remote viewing, teleportation, levitation, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, like all of them, like every single one of them, or are we talking one specific ability? Also real in what sense? Because, you know, when I was back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, when I was, for, to me, those abilities were real, but because they were real up here. So I'm assuming that you mean like real, real, like undeniable real, like let's say for the sake of not making this video 20 minutes long, let's say telekinesis, okay? So the ability to move things with your mind. So let's say this guy or this person manages to prove to me without a shadow of a doubt that he can move things with his mind. And that's real. There's no gimmick, there's no trick, and there's nothing. Okay, with that, there's a bunch of problems that come in because I could simply acknowledge it like, okay, that's true. It's real. You prove it to me. And I could be like, great. Fantastic. I can make a video saying how I was wrong. But at the same time, you see, what's confusing to me about that is that if this person is the real deal, why don't we already know about it? And the problem is that some of you might start screaming about conspiracies. And that would open a whole other door. Because listen, if this person is the real deal, that can prove without a shadow of a doubt that telekinesis is real, there's two things going on. Either there's a huge conspiracy to keep this person from not, you know, from not revealing this to the entire world, which then there's nothing I can do about it. Then, then I would like, you know, I could be like, oh, good for you. So there's a conspiracy. Great. We're doomed because if there's a conspiracy has been going on for decades and none of us can do anything about it. So I would be like, 
oh damn there's a conspiracy and we're doomed or option number two which to me is my favorite one this guy is a complete dick he's just an asshole who, who, who wants to either keep it for himself or is not capable of properly showing this to the world, which makes him a, a complete flipping dick. Yeah, that's, that's a, a, a big issue where, you know, it's something that I would have to address if I meet someone who's the real deal, because I will have so many questions starting to, how are you not able to show this to the world? It's been a century with people claiming disability and nobody was ever able to prove it to the rest of the world. So again, one more time, it might just be a complete idiot or there's a huge conspiracy that at this point, none of us can stop. Or option number three, disabilities are just shit. Their ability that don't go beyond moving a little piece of foil on a needle or they work on and off at random. And if that's the case, then I'll be like, oh great, I'll acknowledge that they exist, but I don't want to learn it. I can simply move forward with my life, which is going much better without it. Because if this is what you have to offer, like an ability that goes on and off, that doesn't really allow you to do impossible things, then I don't want it. You can keep it. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the long answer, but that, that would be the case. Like if I meet, okay, let's say that I, Okay, let, let's say also that I have incredible abilities, right? At the same time, I don't know if I would ask this person to teach those to me because A, I would love to know how long it takes to, you know, to develop them. Because as I said, I'm not on the young side anymore. And, and my life has been going in a direction at this point that I would rather spend more time getting, becoming a better entertainer and a better magician that I wouldn't be able to stop that completely to now start from zero on something that I, I know nothing about and someone and I have to beg someone to teach it to me and who knows how long it's gonna take. So I might just acknowledge the fact that disability exists, you know, maybe delete this channel, but then move forward with my life without disability because I wouldn't have time to actually do it. Now that brings me to the second problem with this question, the second problem when it comes to definition. So this is kind of like what my first one was about, oh, what do you mean by real? What is real about it? And why, you know, why is this guy not being considered real by the entire world yet? The second problem is the word master, because a lot of people right now, they claim to be master, but they did not. Again, it's one of those things that usually, like if you're an architect or a doctor or a lawyer, there is a standard that you got to pass that we as humanity have agreed that's your standard that you need to pass in order to be one of those things. But when it comes to masters, there's a lot of people who just simply declare themselves as master, but they haven't really passed any tests or anything. Like, I mean, I could be the master of magic isn't real and start my own school. Sure, I'm the master of the, the own school that I have created, but like what, what gives me the, the right to do that? Like I'm giving the right to myself, which is, you know, sure, whatever, well done. But like what makes you a master? And I'm saying that because sure, maybe this person calls himself a master, but does he really know how their ability works? And does he really know how to teach it? Because there's also, keep in mind, there's also this possibility that maybe I meet someone who can, who, you know, who does this thing and it's real. They can move things with their mind and it's absolutely 100% real. But the problem is maybe it's real, but they don't actually know how it works. Because have you ever considered that it could be like genetics? And maybe this person is such a self-proclaimed master that he doesn't want to admit that he was just born lucky. Like, I always say that there's a guy who has this like, I forgot his name. I'm going to put it on the screen. There's a guy who has this like genetic disease and he can, he can basically stick things to his head. Like, I think he has the Guinness World Record for uh, many most amount of things he can stick to his head and they literally stick to his head and you can't pull it away. Now, this guy went to a doctor, he did analysis and he discovered that he has a genetic uh, disease. But what if instead of doing that, he wouldn't just be like, oh, I developed this ability to stick things to my head and I use chi energy and I do meditation. Like he could do that. And people will believe him because what he's doing is actually real. The problem is that it's real, but not in the way that he's explaining it. So when you say like, oh, when you meet a real master, we need to define what a real master is. Because sure, it could be a real master in the sense that he's the master of his school. And he could have real abilities in the sense that what he's doing when he does something, something else happen. But that doesn't mean that he knows how that thing works. It doesn't mean that he can teach it to you. And it doesn't even mean that you might even be able to develop it. Because if it's something genetics, it's all about luck. So anyway, it's amazing how these questions open so many doors. 
and it's not as simple as it might seem to answer. But after talking for basically 15 minutes straight without taking a breather, let me just give you the answer that I should have, now that I think about it, that I should have just wrote down in the comments. And the answer is, if I meet a real master who has real abilities, without a shadow of a doubt, I will simply, are you ready for this? Acknowledge it. I would acknowledge that disabilities exist and then there's someone who can demonstrate it. And then I will move forward with other things after that, according to how I'm going to feel when that happens. And that means that if I feel like investigating more, so if I feel like talking to this person more and really trying to figure out why this person hasn't been able to, to showcase to the world, then I'll move in that direction. But maybe if I feel like this is too overwhelming, which could be, I could just simply be like, oh, I was wrong. Let me delete this channel. Let me move forward with my life. I will maybe decide that I want to drop everything and learn disabilities. Or maybe I'll simply decide to not do that, but still trying to tell people when I perform my magic tricks that mine are tricks, but real ones do exist. And if they want to learn it, they can go to that guy. So I'm just going to take it, you know, I like to live in the now, in the now, in the present. So all of these are just what ifs, just hypothetical. Because in reality, until I actually meet this person that you're describing, I don't really know what it is that I'm going to do. So I don't really have a better answer for you today. All I can tell you is that I will definitely, I won't deny it. I will definitely acknowledge it. That's all I can say. I would acknowledge it that this person and whatever abilities it is that he's demonstrating exist. That's it. That's all I can tell you today after talking for 20 minutes straight. Damn, if you're still here, like, thank you so much. This was a... This was a weird one. But if you like this type of kind of, you know, rambling type of content, let me know. I will try to do some more. Otherwise, uh, this channel is, again, it's a little bit on a break. And if you're still here, I want you to comment in the, in, in the comment section. I just want you to tell me what's your definition of real? Like, what is your definition of reality? That's a, that's a deep one. Please do not write an essay. I know it's a tough question. Just try to try to keep it, you know, just, just. Just try to keep it simple. Couple of sentences, okay? Otherwise, make a video like I just did. Anyway, one more time. I shall thank you so much. And uh, I maybe see you next time. Maybe not. Who knows? Peace out. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, there's stuff in here. I'm just going to go this way.